you probably heard um, about the orange bastard. You know, what a whiny little son of a bitch. He had his nearly half billion dollar bond necessary to appeal the case that uh, he lost. He had that bond reduced to $175 million, uh, which which really is unheard of. I, I mean, if you or I had to post a bond, a $10,000 bond, in order to get out of jail, uh, it would be difficult for us to go to, impossible for us to go to an appellate court and say, uh, oh, please reduce the bond. Uh, I, I just can't pay. Okay, we'll reduce it. This rotten, slimy, goddamn Trump has gotten more breaks, more benefits, more manipulations of the U.S. judicial system than anybody ever in the history of the country. And yet he stands out there and whines. I heard a little bit of what he said today during this uh, one of the hearings. I don't even know which one it was anymore. I really don't give a shit. I I guess it's the... uh, I, I don't know, but whatever trial he, uh, whatever charges that brought him to New York, New York courtroom this morning, during the break in the proceedings, he stands out there, and uh, CNN was taking him word for word, and and I just refuse. I don't want to listen to this lying little pissant again. MSNBC had him silenced, a split screen with people who were talking about what was going on. But when MSNBC said, okay, he's taking some questions, so they went live. And all I didn't hear a question, but I heard Trump, and this is when I switched off and went to the goddamn Weather Channel, actually. Um, but I heard Trump say, once again, talking about the border, the southern border, and the illegal uh, immigrants, as he puts it, that are crossing the border, which is his only issue trying to scare the hell out of white people. But once again, he says 50 million people are loose in this country. I'm quoting him. 50 million that Biden has allowed to be here. And of the 50 million, they're all sexual criminals. They're from mental institutions and they're terrorists. And his brain dead, filthy, goddamn MAGA hat wearing freaks who listen to that sit there and say, yeah, well, that's the truth. That's why we got to get rid of Joe Biden, because there's 50 million of them here. Which would be one out of every seven people in America. But Trump doesn't give up. You know, he he can't. He is so goddamn dementia ridden right now he doesn't know what he's saying he keeps falling back on these obscene asinine ridiculous statements and maybe at some point his brain dead followers are going to wake up to this and say uh one out of every seven people is mentally deranged illegal immigrant really boss uh jesus christ the judge uh now has uh, in in the so-called hush money case, which is I hate that it, it, it's a uh, election interference case. But the New York judge is scheduled April fifteenth. This trial is going to begin. This is Judge Juan Merchan. He made the ruling this morning. The judge earlier had uh, scolded. Is that the right word? The orange bastards' lawyers. Uh, as the judge weighed when to reschedule the trial after a last-minute document dump caused a postponement. Now, th- this is the case. Like I say, it's, it's difficult, if not impossible, for me to keep all this shit straight. But this is the so-called hush money case. This is the one that involves the, the, the adult film woman and Trump and, and Michael Cohen and so on and so forth. Um, and the judge had gotten really pissed at what he suggested, were baseless defense claims of prosecutorial misconduct. These fuckers that work for Trump will use any term they can. And and, and the more electric the term is, the more they're going to use it. And the judge was totally put off by Trump's phony fucking team's arguments that prosecutors had concealed tens of thousands of pages of records from a previous federal investigation. (laughs) 
there's so much wrong with that statement. It's hard for me to parse it and take it apart. But the documents are talk about, it's my understanding that of the 160,000 pages or something like that, uh, only about 250 pertain to Trump's uh, attempt to uh, um, hide uh, expenditures when he had his campaign in 2015. The rest of it has to do with Michael Cohen. And that's what prosecutors said, but only a handful of the newly uh, released records were even relevant to the case. But Trump's phony fucking lawyers, and I wonder how they sleep at night. They say that thousands of pages are potentially important and require a painstaking review. Oh, horseshit. Now, Judge Merchant, who earlier this month had postponed the trial until at least the middle of April, uh, today, he told defense lawyers that they should have acted much sooner if they believed they didn't have all the records that they felt entitled to. <laughs> oh, this is what the judge said. I'm quoting. Uh, this is from the Associated Press. Quote, that you don't have a case right now is really disconcerting because the allegations that the defense makes in all of your papers is incredibly serious, unbelievably serious. You are accusing, now he's talking to Trump's phony lawyers, you are accusing the Manhattan District Attorney's Office and the people involved in this case of prosecutorial misconduct and of trying to make me complicit in it. And you don't have a single cite to support that position, end quote. But, but that, that's how Trump and his slimy attorneys operate. They, they don't give a fuck about the facts of a case. They don't care about the law. They're just trying to spring this orange son of a bitch. Now, according to the AP, uh, the orange bastard went to court for a hearing scheduled um, in place of the long-planned start of jury selection. That's supposed to have begun March 25th, I believe. I, I don't know. I don't know. Jesus Christ. But this hearing today took place on a very con- uh, consequential day for Trump and, and, and his phony attorneys regarding his, his legal troubles and his political affairs <laughs> besides asking for a huge delay so they can look at these relevant papers because the New York Appeals Court granted him <laughs> a reduction from $454 million in the civil fraud judgment. That was the one uh, that Letitia James had gotten where the people of the state of New York had been defrauded by this bastard. So they reduced it from half a billion to $175 million if he puts it up within the next 10 days. Now, if he doesn't put it up, you can bet your ass that there'll be another delay. And... This is just so goddamn frustrating. It's, it's as if the entire legal system, on the one hand, is working to protect this son of a bitch who deserves no protection because what he's doing, he's trying to protect himself from the truth. He's trying to protect himself from the normal actions of the judicial system when someone has been charged with a kind of corruption and law-breaking that this orange bastard has been charged with. <sighs> now, the election interference case, a.k.a. the hush money case, was filed a year ago by prosecutors in Manhattan. And that particular case, all of a sudden, has has grown in its uh, proportion of, of seriousness because it's the only one of the prosecutions against this orange son of a bitch that appears likely to go to trial in the coming months. Trump has spent tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, corrupting and evading the legal system that the rest of us would have been consumed by at this point had we committed the, the, the crimes that Trump has committed. And again, the DA's office in Manhattan said there was little new material in the documents and no reason for further delay. And the prosecutor in this, uh, Matthew Colangelo, said in court this morning that the number of relevant 
usable new documents is, in his words, quite small, around 300 records or fewer. And Trump's phony, miserable, goddamn one of his defense lawyers, he's got a new one now, Todd Blanche, said, quote, we very much disagree. (laughs) He said the number totaled in the thousands and continues to grow. Blanche and the rest of these filth argued that the delayed disclosure warrants dismissing the case entirely, or at least pushing it off for three or four months. Blanche, Trump's phony fucking attorney, said, quote, we're not doing our jobs if we don't independently review the materials. Every document is important, end quote. That was his plea to Judge Merchan, but Merchan didn't, it seemed like he wasn't paying any attention to this bullshit. And he asked Blanche why the defense team, which subpoenaed for the records in January, didn't bring up concerns about potentially missing documents weeks ago. Judge Merchan asked this phony mastered, quote, why did you wait until two months before trial? Why didn't you do it in June or July? (laughs) Well, come on. Come on, Judge. You know goddamn good and well. I, I realize you're asking the question for the record, but this is Trump's M.O., Delay, wait till the last minute, then bring up something that the judicial system says, okay, well, that's that's a valid question, so we're going to have to delay things. Okay, well, that's another valid question. Okay, so we're going to have to delay things even more and more and more. Now, the orange bastard has pleaded not guilty to charges that he falsified business records. Now, I'm talking about the so-called hush money case here election interference case. Uh, The prosecutors in Manhattan, though, say that the Orange Master did this as part of an effort to protect his campaign in 2016 by burying these false stories of his hanging out uh, and and, and engaging in extramarital sex and then paying for it with hush money. That's where the hush money comes up. Here, I'll give you this if you keep your fucking mouth shut. Bitch seems to be Trump's attitude. But according to the prosecutors, this is election interference, which it is. And today, while he was standing out during one of the breaks, this orange bastard repeated to the reporters who clutched around him like flies around a shit pile. I don't know why they do this. But his claims that the case is a witch hunt and a hoax. Oh, and he pointed out that the Manhattan Manhattan District Attorney, Alvin Bragg, is, oh, dear God, dear God, he's what? He's a witch? No. He's a monster? No. He's a demon? No. What what, what then? Worse than all of that, he's a Democrat! And the case centers on the allegations that the orange bastard hid hid $130,000 in payments as legal fees <laughs> on his company's books. And Prosecutor Bragg, the Manhattan District Attorney Bragg, said that this was, quote, to disguise his and others' criminal conduct, end quote. Well, you know, I, I heard Michael Steele this morning on MSNBC briefly mention, and, and Michael Steele, I realize he's, he's a Republican, he's a former head of the RNC, not like this Ronna McDaniel asshole who uh, has been hired by NBC. Is that right? I'm going to have to do further research because I've heard two stories now that NBC network hired this election denying Nazi goddamn Mormon who apparently the teachings of the Mormon church went in one of her ears across the vacuum and out the other. She never paid attention to attention to her religious teaching, right? But Michael Steele is not like that. And as Michael Steele was saying this morning, he was very pissed off that, what did he point out? He said, for the past almost 10 years, there has not been a single fucking day. He didn't say fucking. A single day when news media have not focused on this goddamn Donald Trump have not repeated his name over and over and over. 
And in that process, Steele didn't say this, but you can come to this realization very quickly. In that process, what media have done, they have woven Trump's name into the fabric of the whole goddamn country. Every single day, every hour on hour on the hour, talk about Trump and, and his slimy machinations and his criminality. And it's just astonishing how one fucking person, one grifter, one punk, one rotten subhuman can capture and hold this much attention. It's just unbelievable. I guess I'm doing the same thing, huh? Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.